All right, I am here with tonight's keys to the race. We are going to be having the Palmetto Truck Series at Daytona, so we all know what that means. A lot of exciting action, three and four wide racing at times, drafting, the potential for the big one. Somebody is going to have to navigate through all these challenges in order to find their way to victory lane. So tonight's keys to the race are, key number one, life is better with friends. This is Daytona, and you have to draft. You're not going to do it on your own. You have to draft with your friends and teammates. We're even going to see the teams join up for qualifying, so you'll kind of see a group qualifying where each set of teams get together and drafts together for their qualifying line. So if you're going to be able to do this and stick with your teammates, you've got to have a consistent line. You've got to be patient and forgiving with your teammates. And you have to stick with them right up until probably the last lap before you make your move for victory lane. So that means you don't have to get out of line. That means you have to forgive your teammates if they get out of line. You got to get on and off a pit road together. You got to navigate through any uh, wrecks or cautions that happen. So life is better with friends. Keep your friends close, at least until you see that white flag coming out. Key number two, avoid the big one. We're going to see some crazy racing. There's probably going to be a one second gap from first place to last place. So if anybody makes a mistake, makes a bobble, gets too aggressive, it could wipe out most of the field in a hurry. Even if it doesn't wipe them out, just, just having them check up out of the throttle or have something to work to make them lose the draft is going to be the same effect as taking them out of the race so avoiding the big one is key number two to the race key number three the third time's a charm first two stages really don't matter first two stages are probably just going to be to find out uh, who can hold their line the best how teams work the best, who's the best leader, who's the best pusher. So passing is difficult. So the third time's a charm. I look for somebody to try to do something very creative to create track position for them at the start of that third stage because we know that the passing is going to be difficult. There are no stage points. So starting up front at the end of the third or the, at the beginning of the third stage could be the key to ending up up front at the end. But key number three is third time's a charm. First two stages, you can wreck, you can lose the draft, you can make any mistakes you want, but you better be up front when the green flag drops on that third stage and you better save your best moves to them and you better get all your mistakes out of the way in the first two stages. Key number four. Don't let the goblin get you. Optic Goblin won our first restrictor plate race, and he has been on a roll ever since. He has built a reputation for avoiding trouble, making moves at the right time, and being consistently fast. So you do not want to have the goblin in your windshield. You want to have him in your rearview mirror when that last lap comes. And you better keep a close eye on him because he will not want to stay in that rearview mirror. So key number four to the race, don't let the goblin get you. Now, somebody is going to navigate through all these obstacles, hit every one of these keys to the race and find their way to victory lane tonight. We will find out later tonight who that driver is. So please tune in to the Twitch broadcast of the Palmetto Truck Series and see who can navigate not just the racetrack, but all the obstacles that come with us as we race from Daytona tonight.